It goes without saying that the 2010s were a revolutionary decade for movies. Now, though, it's time to look to the future and take a dive into the hottest releases from the first year of the 2020s. From franchise tent poles to long-awaited sequels to gripping original productions, these are the movies you can't miss in 2020. In 2018, A Quiet Place took Hollywood by surprise, turning a modest $17 million budget around to pull in nearly $350 million worldwide at the box office. It's also one of the most highly acclaimed horror films in recent years, with Rotten Tomatoes granting it an overwhelmingly fresh rating and calling it a ruthlessly intelligent creature feature that's as original as it is scary. So it's no wonder Paramount Pictures would want to capitalize with a sequel. And on March 20th, 2020, A Quiet Place 2 will hit theaters. While writer-director John Krasinski is confirmed for the sequel now, it wasn't always that way. In an interview with The Ringer's The Big Picture podcast, Krasinski said he initially didn't want to have anything to do with the second film, but was convinced by his producer to at least jot down a few ideas. He explained, After like three weeks, he was like, why don't you just write this and then we'll get another filmmaker? And of course, Jedi Mind tricked me into signing on to the sequel. As far as the story goes, writers Scott Beck and Brian Woods have told Fandango that there is the potential to focus on new families. Krasinski also seemed to agree that the sequel wouldn't be just about the Abbots of the original, telling The Hollywood Reporter, In our circumstance, the thing that the audience loved most was the world. That's the cool thing that you could explore on and on. On May 1, 2020, Marvel Studios is set to release Black Widow, its 24th MCU film and the beginning of the Marvel Universe's fourth phase. During the Marvel Hall H panel at 2019 San Diego Comic-Con, the cast and crew of Black Widow discussed the film's official announcement, along with a few story and character details. Chronologically, Black Widow will take place between Captain America's Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. As far as plot goes, specific details are still being kept under wraps, but according to its cast, the film is going to be something of a departure from other Marvel properties. David Harbour, who plays Alexi, otherwise known as the Red Guardian, spoke with Marvel after the panel. He said, It feels like an espionage movie. It's got all these elements to it. Scarlett Johansson also said, It's a little dirty. It's a little salty. It's bringing some realness to the Marvel Universe. Joining Johansson and Harbour are Florence Pugh as Yelena, Natasha's fellow Black Widow agent, O.T. Fagbenle as Mason, a fixer who apparently has a complex relationship with Natasha, and Rachel Weisz as Melina, a character who's previously been through the Widow program five times. Times. Long live the Keanosense! Thanks in no small part to the ongoing success of the John Wick series, rumors have been bouncing around Hollywood about potential sequels and reboots for everything from The Matrix to Speed. One follow-up that's definitely coming, however, is Bill and Ted Face the Music, a fantastic voyage following in the radical footsteps of 1989's Excellent Adventure and 1991's Bogus Journey. After many years of rumblings, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter officially confirmed in March of 2019 that strange things were indeed afoot at the Circle K once more. William Sadler is slated to reprise his role as the oft Melvin's Grim Reaper, while original writers Chris Matheson and Ed Solomon have returned to pen the screenplay, and Galaxy Quest director Dean Pariseau is set to helm. Reeves himself revealed that the plot will catch up with the now middle-aged Bill S. Preston and Theodore Logan, as they realize that adult responsibilities like fatherhood have prevented them from coming up with that universe-saving song they were destined to write. Excellent! Bill and Ted Face the Music will be partying on in production throughout 2019 and is set for release on August 21st, 2020. Author Owen Colfer once described his young adult fantasy series Artemis Fowl as Die Hard with Fairies. Critics, meanwhile, have called Artemis the new Harry Potter. If those comparisons pique your interest, good news. Eight novels about this young criminal mastermind's coming of age were published between 2001 and 2012 for your reading pleasure. Or you could just wait until May 29th, 2020, when a film adaptation of the first book in Colfer's series is slated to hit theaters. That first book finds the 12-year-old anti-hero kidnapping a fairy in the hopes of restoring his family fortune and finding his long-lost father. The Disney-produced feature stars Irish newcomer for Dia Shaw as Artemis, with a supporting cast that includes Judi Dench, Josh Gad, and Game of Thrones' Nanso Anazie. Kenneth Branagh, best known for Marvel's first Thor film and a multitude of Shakespeare adaptations, is in the director's chair, a role he previously filled for Disney on 2015's Cinderella. Let's be fair, it's probably ambitious to talk about The New Mutants as a 2020 release. At this rate, assigning an actual date to the seemingly cursed X-Men project is like waiting for a toad to get struck by lightning. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? After an initial trailer was released in the bygone days of October 2017, The New Mutants has been pushed back no fewer than three times, shifting from April 2018 to February 2019, then to August 2019. The recent release of Disney's post-Fox merger schedule, however, revealed that New Mutants had been delayed yet again, all the way to April 3rd, 2020. So what's behind the delays? By all accounts, it's not actually the quality of the film itself. 
Unlike Dark Phoenix, New Mutants has reportedly been well-received in test screenings. The movie's source comics, created in the 1980s by Chris Claremont and Bill Sinkovich, remained unique fan favorites too. The cast features up-and-comers like the witch's Anya Taylor-Joy and Game of Thrones' Macy Williams. Sadly, a number of factors have been at play in frustrating the movie's release. The release of Deadpool 2, a decision to play up the movie's horror elements, expansion of certain characters' roles, and the earth-shaking Disney-Fox merger among them. Bad Deadpool. With any luck, fans will actually be able to watch The New Mutants in 2020. And hopefully, it will live up to its potential as a stylish and frightening final X-Men movie from Fox. Currently, very little is known about Christopher Nolan's upcoming action epic Tenet, which is slated for release on July 17, 2020. We do know that it revolves around the world of international espionage and that it's shaping up to be an expensive production, with the budget reportedly clocking in at about $225 million. On top of that, Tenet will be shown in IMAX, so expect big things, literally. The film stars John David Washington, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Robert Pattinson, among others. Pattinson told USA Today in April 2019 that he had been sworn to secrecy regarding Tenet's details. The actor was fond of the script, however, and said that Nolan has changed his mind about doing big-budget movies. Pattinson explained, There's just something about Chris Nolan's stuff. He seems like the only director now who can do what is essentially a very personal, independent movie that has huge scale. I read the script, and it's unreal. Pixar's newest movie, Onward, is set in a fantasy suburbia and follows two elf brothers, voiced by Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, as they set out into the world in search of magic that will allow them to spend a day with their dead father. Onward is a completely new entry to the Pixar canon, so its imaginative world promises to be like nothing the studio has done before. And judging by the film's first teaser trailer, which features all kinds of magical creatures, there will be more than enough for fantasy fans to sink their teeth into. Onward is directed by Dan Scanlon, who helmed 2013's Monsters University and has worked on the senior creative team for Brave, Inside Out, Coco, and Toy Story 4. This is a personal project for him, too. He told the audience at D23 that the story was inspired by his own personal search for answers regarding his father, who passed away when he was just a year old. Pixar's Onward hits theaters on March 6, 2020. In addition to the rest of the MCU's Phase 4 projects, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige took to the stage at 2019's San Diego Comic-Con to announce Eternals, which will make its way to theaters on November 6, 2020. While little is known regarding the plot of Eternals, the film will be based on the cosmic Jack Kirby characters first introduced in the pages of Marvel Comics in 1976. According to Marvel, the Eternals are a race of godlike beings locked in a millennium-old conflict with the less-evolved Deviants and their originators, the Celestials. They are immortals blessed with strange sometimes monstrous powers. There's a little pee coming out of me right now. Eternals boasts an all-star cast, including Angelina Jolie, Richard Madden, Kumail Nanjiani, and Selma Hayek. It's directed by Chloe Zhao, whose two previous films, 2015's Songs My Brother Taught Me and 2017's The Writer, were both met with critical acclaim, with The Writer being nominated for Independent Spirit Awards for Best Film and Best Director. The Call of the Wild, Jack London's 1903 adventure novel about a sled dog's journey across the Yukon Territory is a literary classic. Just look at how many times it's been adapted to the screen, stretching all the way back to the silent era. In the past, the lead human role of prospector John Thornton has been played by Hollywood tough guys like Clark Gable, Charlton Heston, and Rutger Hauer. On February 21, 2020, however, John Thornton's rugged boots will be filled by Harrison Ford in a live-action animation hybrid from Lilo and & Stitch and How to Train Your Dragon director Chris Sanders and Logan writer Michael Green. The impressive supporting cast is rounded out by Dan Stevens, Karen Gillan, Omar Sy, and Bradley Whitford. It remains to be seen just how Sanders' animation expertise will bring the story's animal characters to life in this 20th Century Fox production, but the impressive pedigree of the material makes this adaptation one to keep an eye on. After years in development, the big-screen adaptation of Naughty Dog's video game franchise Uncharted will finally be making it to theaters on December 18, 2020. In 2017, it was announced that Spider-Man's Tom Holland would be taking on the lead role of Nathan Drake in Sony's prequel film, which will star the same lead character from the game, but won't be following its plot. Instead, it will introduce a younger version of Drake as he learns the tricks of the trade from his mentor Sully. Brian Cranston is also rumored to star, but his role remains unknown at the time of publication. Uncharted has run through a series of direct over the course of its development, with Seth Gordon, David O. Russell, Neil Berger, and Sean Levy all having been attached at some point. Finally, in January 2019, Variety announced 10 Cloverfield Lane's Dan Trachtenberg would take the reins. Currently, little else is known about the film, but if the casting rumors are true, the combination of Holland and Cranston could make for one video game adaptation that can't be missed. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.